Yo, what up? Yo, what Welcome up? to another Welcome episode, to another episode, episode of, of the Warriors Podcast. Podcast. I'm Patrick. I'm Patrick. Flying, flying solo, solo. Well, well the Warriors, the Warriors lost, lost to the to the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets in KD's, in KD's first first return to the Bay area, since, area since leaving leaving after tearing, after tearing his Achilles, Achilles in the, the 2019, 2019 NBA NBA finals finals. When he left, when he left, this is not this how is not anyone how imagined, imagined his return would be. Would be in the middle of a pandemic, pandemic with an empty empty Chase Center, but. But so it goes. So it goes. Yeah, the Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors. They, they, they just got just beat, gotten this beat game. This game. Uh, they're, uh, they're not not at the level, at the level of, of the Brooklyn Nets Brooklyn in terms of talent. Terms of talent. When, you when you have Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, James Harden, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving, and basically, and basically the Warriors the only Warriors have only have Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry at least on the at least on the offensive offensive end. And the Warriors shot nine nine for thirty four from three point land, and that's just that's not going to cut. Going to cut. Got out rebounded, and the poor shooting, shooting, especially. Steph. Especially Steph, he had his he had streak, his streak of, I think, of maybe I think fourteen maybe games, 14 games of hitting of hitting four three pointers, three pointers or, more or more in a game in a game that ended that ended. I believe he I believe two, he was for two for nine. If you don't have if Steph, you don't have Steph, <laughs> you're not you're going, not going <laughs> to win to win. If you don't have you don't him have him hitting at, hitting at, at really, a really 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 solid MVP, solid MVP <laughs> level. Basically, level. It basically it was one one star versus three three. The Nets, the Nets, superior talent, superior talent, talent eventually, eventually, kind of, kind of won over. Won over. But, but I guess on, I the guess on the bright side, bright side, to be honest, to be honest, it never felt it never like the felt Warriors, like the Warriors, Warriors getting, were getting getting blown, blown out, out the way they the way they got blown out, got blown out in the first game, in the first of, the game of the season, in that first, in that game, first game, they just looked completely, they just looked completely overmatched, in overmatched in terms of in talent, terms of talent, just chemistry, just whatever, chemistry, whatever. And in this game, in this game, Warriors were down three, down three at the one at the one mark, two mark, the first quarter, first quarter, it was 26 and then and then the Warriors. The Warriors started missing, started shots. missing shots. The Nets started hitting shots. Started hitting shots. And they, ended, and they the quarter, ended the quarter down by nine. Down by nine. And just kind of kept going, going, from, going from, there. from there. So you so could say that the Warriors have made strides, strides, but they're not good they're enough, not good to, enough keep to keep up. They just up. kept they just fading, kept fading, and fading, and fading, and fading. Whereas in the first game, the first game, they just they just were blown out from the outset. This one felt like felt like again, they just didn't have their A game. And they had to they had to bring their A game to compete. They kind of brought their brought their B minus. B minus plus game, plus game or, something. game <laughs> or something, but this is but where this is the where Warriors, the are. Warriors are. They are they one are of those teams, of those teams with, a with a singular star. star. And if he and doesn't, if he doesn't play play at, at an optimum at an level, optimum level, you just you just are not going are not to going to win the game. That's basically that's it. Basically that's what happened. That's what happened. But. But beyond that, beyond that, hey, there were, hey, some, there were good some good things. Good things. Let's all be Let's happy, all be that, happy that, Draymond that Draymond Green, Green after, after he went he down, went down with that knee problem, knee problem that he came back, he came in the back second half, half. He started the second half. half. He said, he said, the knee locked, the knee up. locked up. I guess that's something that happens to him relatively often. often. I don't know. I don't know the medical, technical term locked up, locked up knee. But hey, came back, came back. He's going to play. He's play. He's going to keep playing. So there, there. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Like when he went down, went down. I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa! Is that is that this season? This season? I I actually had, had visions, and not that I wanted, that I wanted Draymond to Draymond be hurt to be a season. For the season, definitely, not. definitely not. <laughs> but I was like, well, I was like, well, let me look on the bright side. On the bright side, I started thinking. I started about, thinking about oh. Oh, Cade Cunningham, Cade Cunningham or, or can James Wiseman, James and Wiseman Evan, Mobley Evan Mobley play, play next to each other? Next to each other, two, two really, really young, really seven young footers. seven footers. So yeah, so I yeah. Mean, I mean, that's that's where my mind where my mind went. It's funny. It's funny after the game. After the game. I'm assuming, I'm assuming like, like the environment, the environment of this, of this vast, vast empty chase empty center, chase center. Like, you know, like, no one's you know, there. No one's and there. so there's no and pressure, so there's no pressure of, of the crowd, like screaming, like screaming at you, yelling at you, yelling at you. Yelling at you. And, and I don't know if it, feels, know if it like feels like more, more intimate, for intimate players, players or whatever, or whatever. But, but after the game, after the game, game when KD went, went over to the Warriors bench, bench, bench and said, what's up to play, and Steph, and Draymond, and all the other folks he knew. I wonder like if this were a regular game in the sense that there were fans, if that all would that all would have happened behind the scenes, behind the you know, scenes, like in the you know, locker, locker room or, or away or from the, the crowds. From the crowds but, but you know, it was you know, cool, it to, was see. cool to see. And, and maybe it was maybe kind of, it was more, kind of, of a, more of a uh, behind, uh, the behind the scenes view of, of how, how these guys, guys, guys react to each other and, like, you like, know, say what's up, what's up, adapt each other, adapt each other up, catch up and all that jazz. After all, after all, like perceived drama, hyped up drama, which was just was just clearly clearly overblown to a large to a large extent. It's good to see that. It's good to see that people moved on, moved on. And I'm and super I'm happy, super for, happy for uh, KD to uh, KD see that see he's back, back to, back who, to he who he was before. before. I've said this, I've from, said this from very, very, very start, very start of this of season. This season. That if that it's not going to be the Warriors to win the NBA, NBA finals, finals, 
Finals. I want the New Jersey. I want the New Jersey. I want the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets. And I still and want the I still Brooklyn, want Brooklyn Nets. Nets. Even if they have even James, James Harden. James Harden. And yes. And yes. My, my disdain, disdain for, for long time, long time warrior enemies, warrior enemies, James Harden, James Harden, Harden Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving, Irving definitely, definitely supplanted, supplanted by, by, by my appreciation for Kevin Durant and my desire to see him achieve something with the new team. With the new team. Dude is just a good dude. good dude. All the chatter. Chatter. All the all the piss and vinegar. All the vitriol that you hear on Twitter. Twitter that you hear from, you hear talking, from head, talking heads, pundits, pundits, you know, you know, on TV, on TV, trying to get ratings, get all, ratings that jazz, all that jazz, whatever, man, whatever, man. KD seems KD like he's a good dude, good dude. And, and he, he came, to the, came to the Warriors to try something, to try new. something new, spent three spent years, three years, helped give us helped two, give championships, two championships, gave us his, gave Achilles, his Achilles, and then decided, and then to, move decided to move on. How can you be how mad at that? mad at that? If you love the fact that he left OKC to come to Golden State, how can you be mad that he left Golden State to go to the Nets? It just don't make sense. James Harden, James Harden didn't shoot as much as much. And the two sixteen assists. Assist. I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow. I have no idea. I had no idea. It didn't, really didn't feel like it. Feel like it. And it's crazy and it's though. Crazy though. At the end of the game, the game, he busted he out, busted a, few out of his, a few of his tricks. You know, he got in his bag. He did a couple, did a couple step back, step threes, back threes. And I'm like, ah, like, yeah, ah, yeah. Heck, heck, heck. The fact that he just has that, and he didn't even pull it out until the very end of the game, or just just sporadically throughout. If they wanted, if they wanted to, they could have thoroughly destroyed this Warriors team that was having such a bad shooting. Shooting but man, I, man wish, I wish I wish uh, fans, uh, fans were there. Were there. I mean, everybody, I mean, everybody does. does. I'm sure, I'm sure. Just because, just because like, KD, KD, and then, and two, then two, two of the Warriors' the greatest, greatest enemies, enemies during, during, during the dynasty. dynasty. That, that would have been, 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 been pretty intense. I mean, that would have been goddamn awesome. 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 awesome to see. You're you listening know what I remember during the game? It's crazy because when they broke ground on the Chase Center, you know, there was that photo shoot with all the Warriors execs and Steve Kerr and Rick Welts and probably Bob Myers and Joe like a, fan like I'm you. guessing, but Forget basic you know, KD and boring was designs. the one with Oakland Warriors, Warriors player you can show representing your team the, pride the, with the team. Those in the you know, he had on his I have a shirt hard hat and all that jazz, and they did the, the shoveling, the ceremonial shoveling. You know, like it wasn't Steph. Steph wasn't unwin. there, but Don't it's crazy me? to think like Check he was there, and yeah, it's all pomp and circumstance, just for show and optics and trying to make KD feel like he's part of the future and part of the team. And you know what I remembered during the game? It's crazy because when they broke ground, anyway. The Chase Center, and you now there was finally that photo shoot in arena with all that the Warriors and, of, and Steve of Kerr, and Juggernaut, Rick Welts. He said after the Bob game, Myers and he Joe talks Lakers, to, I'm guessing, but Clay Thompson, you know, KD often, and was that one makes me feel Warriors good player KD representing the, pretty good the team. After you know, you had on Achilles, his hard hat, and all that jazz, and hoping that the Clay shoveling the ceremony same way, shoveling, and you know, like it wasn't Steph. Steph was there, but it's crazy to think like he was there. Yeah, it's all pomp and circumstance, just for show, how to get better, optics, and how to train, trying to rehab. Make KD feel like he's feels part like, of the future and part of the team know, back the then. Things to think but, about, you know, all that jazz. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> two dudes. He left Probably anyway. Uh, very, very interesting. And now he's finally playing in this arena. KD but went as down game a part of the Raptors, a Brooklyn Juggernaut. Clay went down game. He said after the game the, that uh, he ACL, talks to and they were both Clay out for pretty year. often. And then that Clay makes me feel gets good. the same injury that KD looks pretty good. There's a barometer after his Achilles. KD's a good one. We're all positive that Clay comes back the same way. Pretty much all the way. Would be really, really good. I mean, Clay it's hard to say. constantly talk. I don't watch to you, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant every game to get but tips. If he's second or third in scoring. How to get better? And he can how lead to train? How to, to rehab? The promised land, what it feels then, like? That's pretty you know, much all the way the back to, to me. think about. Granted, all the that Nets jazz. have. I mean, those two dudes in terms probably of figuring out their very, flow, very interesting figuring bond out in the sense that defense. KD went like down game five. Kyrie Irving was going to be the off card. Clay went down game hard six. Clay was going to run point. The, uh, all those guys can and initiate the offense for a year. and pass and all that jazz. And then Clay gets the same injury. Hey, if they're KD deciding it that way, if there's a barometer, maybe they'll get into a rhythm. KD's a good one. Proof positive really, really that hope to see them in the NBA come back finals. pretty much if all it's the, the way Clippers from an Achilles. I feel like when I mean, it's hard to the say. Warriors play the Raptors. I don't watch Kevin Durant every game. KD versus if Kawhi. He's second or third and so in this scoring, way we would and get to see them. lead this team to the Lakers, promised land. Of course, then we see that's LeBron pretty much all the way back to me. Kevin Durant Granted, again. the Nets have we see Kyrie their own problems LeBron in terms of figuring out their flow. If we see James Harden in their defense, I'm pretty sure that's what the end. Kyrie Irving is going to be the off guard and Giannis. James Harden, the Miami Heat. point. I mean, all those guys can. Celtics. Initiate the they offense wouldn't mind and pass and all that jazz and score. Sixers, I'm sure. But, but hey, if they're the deciding it that Lakers, way, then cool. that star maybe power, they'll get into a rhythm. I mean, that would be something else. I really, really. So another thing to note is that the NBA Warriors, finals. once again, the Clippers, to win three I feel like when the Warriors played the Raptors, we were robbed of seeing KD versus Kawhi. 
This was and probably so like this their way toughest we get opportunity. To see if it's the Lakers, get that third win, of course, there have been we other see games where LeBron they just kind of coughed it up. Kevin Durant again didn't we play see well. Kyrie versus Maybe it was the LeBron his old back teammate, back, whatever. And we see James but Harden in the finals. Looking at the schedule, I'm pretty sure that's what the NBA wants. Have they don't want the Giannis? They don't want the Miami Heat. NBA. They don't want the Boston Celtics. They have an opportunity coming up. The Philadelphia, play Cleveland, Sixers. I'm sure Miami, the Nets, Orlando, Lakers, that star power. New I mean, York. that would be something else. In Indiana. So another okay. thing to note is so that they the play Warriors Cleveland once home, again failed Miami, to win three games in a row. At they home. have not won then they three go games in a row to all Orlando season and play the Magic. This was probably like their toughest opportunity three of their best to players get that for a long win. Time. They could win games the where they just kind of coughed it up. Let's hypothetically say they didn't play well. Maybe it was the second night of a back to Whatever. They could beat Charlotte. Looking at the schedule, definitely they could beat Charlotte. We and then have at this point they have all on the road. Second half of the all winnable game. Season this Again, year. Again, the Knicks they have an opportunity the coming up at Chase Center. They played just Cleveland a couple weeks ago. Miami, they're not that good. Orlando, <laughs> that was one of the games. Charlotte, the Warriors just coughed New up. York. After New York, and Indiana, and then Indiana okay. there's so they Charlotte play Cleveland at home, at home. The Lakers, Miami, Portland, who Phoenix, is struggling, and those are all away. Lakers, then they go LA, Portland, to Orlando and, Portland, and play and the Magic, who Arizona. are missing those games at least three of their best be players tougher. for a long time. And that's they where could the win the current next schedule games. ends. After that, so there is a window. They say they next to Miami, maybe they could five, maybe beat Orlando six games. They could beat Charlotte. I mean, although that doesn't really mean anything. Like oh, they play the Knicks in a row all on the road, but it's all winnable games that they haven't. Again, yeah, the Knicks over, beat the so Warriors. I'm just highlighting Center, that fact. Just a couple weeks they make ago, it through this but first they're not that good. <laughs> that actually, was one of the yeah, games the Warriors tiny, just tiny coughed up. Streak After New York and in Indiana, they can. There's Charlotte at home. They? We, the Lakers, shall Portland, see. and Phoenix. Anyway, and those are all away. That's another Lakers episode of the Open LA, Warriors podcast. Portland, be sure to subscribe and Phoenix wherever you get your podcasts. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Patrick Tucker. And that's where the current schedule ends. Check us out at Open Warriors. So there is a window in the next. Be sure to share this podcast with maybe six games where they can string together three. The Open Warriors podcast doesn't really mean anything. Like oh, winning three games in a row. It's That's been it. this odd hump that they haven't been able to get over. So I'm just highlighting that fact. Can they make it through this first half of the season and actually get a tiny, tiny win streak of three games? They can, but will they? We shall see. Anyway, that's another episode of the Oakland Warriors podcast. Be sure to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Patrick Epino, E-P-I-N-O, or at Oakland Warriors. Check us out at OaklandWarriors.com. And be sure to share this podcast with your fellow Warrior fan friends. The Oakland Warriors podcast is produced by National Film Society. That's it. Music in this episode provided by Paper Sun. Special thanks to Paul Amardo for production support. See you next time, and go Dubs.